Hello everyone, Tashina Gonzalez here with Be That Diva, your favorite holistic business coach. And I haven't really done a Feel Good Friday very regularly, but I've been producing content for you guys, so I don't feel really bad about that. But today I wanted to come on here because, and I don't even want to call it a Feel Good Friday, but I want to call it a Feel Better Friday because number one, everyone asked me to keep them updated on what happened after my accident. And number two, I had instinctively started to do some things and I wanted to research and see what else I could do and make sure that hopefully you guys know, I always tell you guys, I'm my first and foremost client. And so I do this for me, but I hope a lot of people won't need this information in the future, but in the future, I might as well record it so that if someone does need this information, then it'll be available for them. So as usual, as you hop on here, give me a wave, a hi, a hello. Let me know what city, state, or country you are watching me from. And if you are watching the replay, no matter what venue, then hashtag replay to let me know that you were here. So um, I was in an accident on Tuesday coming home from a conference. I was on a freeway and getting off on the interchange. So it's a freeway that was going about 65 miles an hour. Um, and it was at 5.30. So it was at rush hour traffic. So we were coming to complete stops and then going, etc. cetera. The person behind me didn't know exactly where they were. And so they um, looked at their GPS for a second, looked down, looked up, hit me, right? So I got rear-ended. Um, and I didn't feel too terrible immediately and I didn't like freak out or anything so like I was able to call 911 and then you know I grabbed my oils immediately to make sure I stayed calm while I waited for the police I was worried that it was like a multi-car accident but definitely as the days went on I was feeling worse and um my other chronic issue that I'm dealing with came on at the same like 24 hours later so like Yesterday I was feeling really, really bad. Um, but I actually am feeling like okay, like I'm feeling like a two. So when it first happened, by the time that I got to, I went to the walk-in clinic and um, I had like a headache, disorientation. Um, my pain level felt like maybe a two. And then because I was disoriented, they're like, we need you to get a CT scan. We can't do that here. You gotta go to ER. So I had friends come get me. Took me to the ER, got the CT scan. By that time, I was about at a four. Last night, I was like at an eight. I didn't sleep very well at all. Um, but thankfully, from the CT scan, I don't have any major damage, right? I don't have any crushed disc. I don't have any spine damage. They did a CT scan from the top of my head through my torso. Um, I do have a small hiatal hernia, so that can actually I googled that can actually happen from your seat belt like hitting up against you so it's at the um the bottom of your diaphragm or the very top of your stomach is where that happens um and th when I left they said you probably had a mild concussion that'll go away that's why you're disoriented make sure you follow up with your um primary care physician and probably go to physical therapy to at least get some stretches because you'll probably be sore. So I looked up an article um, from physical therapy area. And uh, again, some additional things. The most important thing, consult with your doctor. That's first and foremost. <sighs> get with your primary care physician ASAP and get a referral to a specialist who will treat your specific injuries and address such issues as a headache, nausea, insomnia. And in my case, I have a hiatal hernia, right? Um, so my appointment is going to be on Tuesday with a primary care physician. Mine is actually out. Um, so, but I am going to meet with them and get a referral as they suggested. So again, I did some things automatically that were in my toolbox that I was excited about, but I was like, let me look up from a specialist who knows about this and see what else I can do or if I was doing well. And a lot of things that were mentioned I was doing, so it's pretty cool. So the next, after consulting your doctor and working with your doctor, things that you can do and things that I can do while I'm waiting to get that doctor's appointment, use ice and heat. So even if you don't sustain injuries, your muscles often feel sore after a car accident because of the impact, stress, and tension. 
Use ice on the sore injured body parts to control pain, reduce swelling and inflammation. And this should be done regularly in the first 72 hours after the accident for 10 to 15 minutes at a time and repeating as needed. So I didn't do any ice. I did do some heat for sure. Um, usually you'll want to visit a physical therapist. Again, that's what ER told me. Physical therapy can be very beneficial for your accident recovery and many doctors recommend it in their treatment plans. Physical therapy uses different healing modalities from ultrasound, electrical stimulation, light therapy, massages to various exercises. The therapist will assess your individual situation needs and create a personalized treatment program. These treatments can help relieve pain, increase your mobility, improve range of motions, strength, and get back get you back on your feet as soon as possible. So I have a TENS machine, which allows me to do some electrical stimulation. So that was one of the things that I added in while again, I wait to get to the doctor. Try massage. Besides physical therapy, you can also try massage therapy, which effectively treats car accident injuries and can help reduce muscle spasms, increase blood flow, improve range of motion, and provide stress relief. So it's going to be a while till I get in for a massage, but I have like a pre-packaged that I paid for and it's something that I do you know at least every other month as just part of my health and wellness um program rest and limit physical activity so you know most of my friends on here know me well and I had lots of people messaging me make sure you rest and that's gonna be hard for you so I did actually take I have actually taken um naps every day and it's interesting because i felt really really exhausted and there's probably two reasons why number one i think because i was flooding my body with so many nutrients it was actually trying to start to use those nutrients and feed it in its repair process and then like i said i also had the other my hormone issue come on so i need to make sure that my iron levels were up as well but um thursday i actually so Wednesday, I emailed my boss, my boss's boss, my indirect boss, and their boss I was like, hey, I was in an accident. The doctor at ER said to limit screen time. And I only dialed into um, the calls that I had that day. And Thursday, I legit did the errands that I needed to because I need to take my car to go get pictures of it so they could start ordering parts for it to get fixed. And then I had to run to a bank and do some stuff. So I legit didn't even turn my computer on um, during the day. And I probably only spent a, just a little bit. Hey, I'm doing better, thankfully. Um, so I only turned my computer on for a little bit. So I did, even though y'all know I have workaholic tendencies. And I posted something too, like on Instagram and Facebook about a couple years ago when I was really struggling with it. So I have rest a lot. I probably have... Um, slept 12 hours per day to be perfectly honest when I took naps um do stretches so while intense oh wait just more information about why rest is important it says in this article that one second yeah um was looking at Facebook it was popping up something okay so many people try to get back to their normal lives as soon as possible which is understandable, but not advisable. You should take time to rest and also limit your physical activity. While sleeping, the body increases blood flow to the muscles and tissue, encouraging muscle repair and growth. Sleep also helps regulate your hormones, reduce stress, and by extension, reduces inflammation. Recovery after a car accident, big or small, requires sleep, rest, and downtime so your body can heal. Trying to do too much can just set you back so exercise patience so i definitely did that do stretches while intense workouts are not recommended you should start slow easy stretches when you're ready you can get these recommended by your physical therapist or doctor and will help your body heal quicker increase blood flow and reduce stiffness so i've actually been in four accidents this is my fourth accident in 10 years y'all i've been rear-ended three times and i rear-ended somebody else the exact same way i got rear-ended um when i was highly stressed out so I have exercises that I know to do for my back. So I have been doing those. And I did go, get to go for a walk today. I had enough energy to do that. So that was good. Hydrate. After traumatic injury, the body sometimes gets hydrated, dehydrated faster. So you should up your water intake and make sure you have your bottle with you at all times. Definitely been doing that. 
and eat healthy. Food is also essential for your car accident recovery. So make sure you eat nutritious meals to provide your body with the nutrients necessary for healing. These include fruit, vegetables, greens that help reduce inflammation and healthy proteins like fish, chicken, beef for muscle rebuilding. You also need vitamins and minerals. Vitamin rich foods include oranges and all citrus fruits, kiwi and cantaloupe. Mineral rich fruit foods include lean meats, yogurt and milk. Increase your intake of olive oil, mixed nuts, avocados, flax oil, ground flax, and other seeds. Get some of each fat source each day. So, the best way to know exactly what to do, of course, is run your food and supplement scan. If you don't know what I'm talking about, DM me immediately because everybody needs a scan. So, I did run that today and I could see a lot of the stuff on here that it wanted me to have citrus fruits, a lot of berries for antioxidants avocados it recommended a lot of fish which i can't have it was recommending eggs and egg whites which i don't always necessarily get recommended so definitely eating as well as using the supplements that my body wants by making sure that i use my biometric food and supplement scan lastly get emotional help and be patient the car accident experience hurts not just your physical but also mental health many people suffer emotional trauma anxiety ptsd and depression afterwards make sure you get help and do not isolate yourself talk to a professional engage with family and friends live your usual life once physically able and don't pressure yourself to get better faster it takes time so I cried a whole bunch today to be perfectly honest and you guys know this is mental health awareness month So that was definitely part of my process. Um, I actually chose the very first day not to do my affirmations because my affirmations are very action and production and goal oriented. And because I have issues with um, being overstimulated or overproducing or ultra independent or um, workaholism, I didn't want to put it in my mind okay, these are the goals and stuff you need to be working on. Like, so I listened to some of my affirmations today, but I chose to listen to only specific ones too. The ones that were more like personality driven and the person that I want to be. But again, avoiding the ones that are like about being productive and goal oriented and go, 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 because that's not what I want to put in my mind. I want to put in my mind the resting and feeling good. So again, I've been in four accidents in 10 years. (laughs) Three of which I was rear-ended. So I did find myself like recounting some of the previous times that I was in accidents, right? And so, again, it's the reason why I cried a lot today. Um, And you're going to feel some emotional type of way after an accident. It's a traumatic event. So just going into more of what it was in the article about vitamins and minerals, why they're important, and some of the ones you want to make sure that you get in to help feed your body the right nutrients to recover from an accident. Vitamins and minerals are nutrients required in small amounts for metabolic reactions in the body. They can act as catalysts that bind to enzymes to facilitate enzyme action in the body, coenzymes that work with other enzymes, or substrates that are directly metabolized themselves. Some important ones that you need, vitamin A. Vitamin A enhances and supports early inflammation during injury, reverses post-injury immune suppression, and can assist in collagen formation via collagenase modulation. Studies have shown that collagen cross-linkage is stronger with vitamin A supplementation and repair is quicker. Vitamin C. Vitamin C enhances neutrophil and lymphocyte activity during phase one of acute injury. It also plays an important role in collagen synthesis as it helps form bonds between strands of collagen fiber. With vitamin C deficiencies, collagen fibers are formally are formed abnormally and fibrous tissue is weak with poor adhesion. Vitamin C is also powerful antioxidant and immune system modulator and research suggests that vitamin C can help people recovering from surgery, injury, and ulcers. Copper is an is a mineral that assists in the formation of red blood cells and works with vitamin C to form elastin and to strengthen connective tissue. Zinc is required 
for over 300 enzymes in the body and plays roles in DNA synthesis, cell division, and protein synthesis. All necessary for tissue regeneration and repair. Zinc deficiency has been associated with poor wound healing, and zinc deficiency is one of the most common micronutrient deficiencies. Note, according to this article, calcium and iron deficiencies are like zinc deficiencies because they're and quite common because they're important for bone health. Athletes who are deficient in calcium and iron are more likely to suffer stress fractures. So they might not play a direct role in injury healing. They play a large role in prevention. Getting enough calcium and iron, preferably from whole foods rather than supplements. The other thing that was recommended, or a few other ones, were amino acids. So amino acids work in several ways. They can stimulate insulin release and um, they have they are powerful anab anabolic hormones that can stimulate protein synthesis and collagen deposition via increased nitric acid nitric oxide production. They can increase blood flow to the injured area, activate microphages for tissue cleanup. These microphages produce and activate growth factors, C cytokines, bioactive lipids, and proelective enzymes necessary for healing. Other things that were honorable mentions, glucosamine, chondroitin, and hyaluronic acid. So I want to share with you guys now some of the things that I have been using and I automatically started using before I actually researched this. So um, one of the things that I grabbed which is something that I don't take on a regular basis. Um, it comes up on my scan once in a while. So I had it on hand could it, because it had came up on my scan. So this is AminoWise. And what does it do? Helps with muscle recovery and enhances performance. So I was taking this um, because I was doing a little bit more strength training. And it has a bunch of these amino acids that is talked about. It also has... 19% of my zinc, and it has a little bit of calcium in it. Another thing that, so I use on a regular basis, I don't have the uh, bottle to it because I'm almost out and I just reordered some, but I have them like portioned out in my um, little vitamin thing is Agile Ease. So Agile Ease helps agility, right? That's a, it helps ease things and makes you more agile. So that actually it's yellow because it's got turmeric in it. Turmeric is also very good for, um, let's see, I have golden turmeric here. So turmeric helps relax, restore, and recover and support your body's inflammation response. That's what turmeric does. So I've been using golden turmeric and also that's also in Agile Ease. Agile Ease also has collagen, hyaluronic acid, and chondroitin in it. So that is... I take that every day because it helps me be more agile because I do have a history, right, of having accidents already. Also, another one I was so happy that I had on hand, calcium. So this actually has my vitamin D and I'm taking vitamin D and vitamin C separately. Um, this has more calcium and more magnesium in it. So it also has marine minerals in it, which is basically another way to say, oh my goodness, there's another herb that people like and I can't think of it right now. But it's got some other herbs that's going to be helpful for me. And then um, lastly, I also had, I've been taking just some other things just to, that are relaxing and soothing for the muscles like pan away i was so glad i had this in my car to take it immediately and uh valor super super grounding and then my cbd muscle rub so again the key is to get to the doctor listen to what they're saying but in the meantime because i was told to get to the doctor five days or more after the accident because it could i would it'd probably get worse in the first four days which Again, yesterday, which was day three, or last night. Technically, today is day three. So last night into today, I did feel, like, horrible. <laughs> like I said, I was, like, at a four. 
And then again, having that, because I went from Monday coming back from vacation and a little bit tired and recovering from that to having an accident, to having my other chronic is issue hit. So it was like a perfect storm. Um, and so, yeah, last night I was like at a pain level eight and hydrated, flooded myself with the nutrients that I needed, used my trigger point tens, um, did a lot of stretching and now I'm feeling like back down to a two. So I'm feeling fairly good and I'm really excited because I have a really long day and event tomorrow and I feel like I'm going to be ready for that. So again, if you're still with me, I appreciate you guys. Love you. Don't forget to say hi, hello, wave. Let me know what city, state, or country you're watching me from. Hashtag replay when you watch this later. And hopefully this is helpful for the unfortunate people in the future that may need some tips on how to recover from an accident while working with their doctor. All right. Thank you guys for joining me. Have a good one. Bye.